Hey there fellow campers and welcome to our campsite review of Smuts House, a tranquil oasis in the middle of the bustling city of Pretoria. The campsite is accessible via the N1 or the R21 highways and it's tar the entire way. I liken this campsite to a camping version of a businessman's travel lodge. It's not for holiday makers or families, but it's the perfect stopover point for anyone needing a city base while visiting friends and family in the area, going to a local hospital, picking up or dropping off someone at the airport, collecting a hire car before setting out an adventure or something like that. They do have a long stay offering, but it is very popular and it's usually fully booked at least six months in advance. The campsite is a large open area with many trees on the perimeter and this is where the long stay sites are. There's about 25 of them. There are only five spots available for short stay visitors, three of which have a paved area and two of which are only on grass. These have small trees and they don't have very much shade, but all the sites do have a dedicated power point, a water point and a dustbin. The grounds are well maintained with grass, plants and flowers. It's hard to grow grass there. The, the soil quality is not that great and there are a lot of very tall trees. So ground sheets and even net ground sheets are not welcome. The ablutions are exceptional in their cleanliness. You almost feel bad about running the water and taking a shower. The ladies has two spacious showers and a bath with flushing toilets and everything has solid doors. Both the gents and the ladies are serviced by gas geysers as is the scullery area. Next to the dishes sinks, there are two deep sinks for manual washing of clothing. These are all kept exceptionally clean and tidy by everyone who uses them. There's also a fairly basic porta potty disposal area, which is well used and again kept very clean by everybody who uses it. Everyone who stays there works together to keep the campsite tidy, clean and quiet. There are no bright facilities, no entertainment, no kiddies play area in the campsite, no lounge or large screen TV. There's no loud music allowed. It's just not that kind of a campsite. In essence, it's for senior citizens and pensioners and short term visitors who are there for a reason other than having a holiday. Everyone who stays there works together to keep the campsite clean, tidy and quiet. There is some bird life in the campsite, but there are also a number of very cute feral bunny rabbits. You are strongly advised not to feed them or encourage them. Uh, they have been known to find a cozy spot in the corner of a tent and produce more baby bunnies. There is so much in close proximity to the campsite. Hospitals, clinics, fuel stations, shopping centers, and a very large mall. Basically, Irene and Centurion are on your doorstep. The magic of this campsite is that you drive in the hustle and bustle of the city and one turn later, trees dominate, you pass a flowing river and you're at Smuts House where bird calls and the quiet blot out the sounds of the city. It's very strange knowing you're so close to the city and you are in an absolute oasis of quiet and serenity. The campsite is very secure. There is a gate at the entrance and another at the campsite and the entire property is fenced twice. Of course, it's still wise to protect your valuables by locking them away and keeping them out of sight. The campsite is pet friendly, but pets do need to be kept within the area of your campsite and most people have a small fence of some kind and when they take their pet for a walk, they are leashed. Owners scoop poop and the grounds are kept clean of poop by the pet owners. Being in the city, cell signal is very good on all networks and we were able to stream on our router and through our phones without any problem, except for the occasional hiccup with load shedding. But there is no Wi-Fi hotspot offered at the campsite. On the other side of the fence is the museum at Smuts House, a historical building where Jan Smuts once made his home. His illustrious life story is depicted through a series of displays and rooms and irrespective of your take on history, he crammed a lot of living into his 80 odd years on the planet. It is believed that he and his wife were responsible for the planting of over a million trees on the original farm. Today the grounds that are still part of the trust are beautifully maintained with these large well-established trees, an arboretum and a lovely walk that's just over two kilometers in length. On the grounds there is a coffee shop, 
which is also pet friendly and very well supported by both humans and their fur babies. The coffee shop offers light meals Tuesdays through Sundays from 10 a.m. till about mid-afternoon and the cheesecake is delicious. Also in the area is the Irene Dairy, which is a popular venue for visitors, especially on weekends. So a quick recap, Smuts House is centrally located in Irene and is a quiet campsite more suited to the mature generation and those just passing through. It has everything you need, but not everything that a holiday maker may want. We find it to be an absolute gem of a campsite while visiting Johannesburg on business. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you on the road sometime. Cheers for now.